Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and uh, as some of you may know, JStation has actually received a full ban. Now a while back, JStation was on this channel and many other channels for some really heinous stuff that he did. Now if we're going to be real, JStation is one of those YouTubers who you may remember as the person who masterminded the 3am Ouija board challenge, or the prank, or whatever you want to call it. Basically, in a lot of ways, some influential, really famous person would pass away, and within 6 hours, a 3am video would be posted. Jay worked incredibly quickly, and it was because of this process that many people in the community had disliked what Jay was doing. This was clearly disgusting behavior, and nobody wanted to have a part of it. It got to a point where last year, around January 2020, Jay had reached a new, new peak of, uh, of degeneracy, where he had basically posted a video about faking his girlfriend's death. Apparently back then, she may have passed away in a car accident, a, uh, a, a, a drunk driver involvement. And in that moment, I actually felt a slight level of sympathy. I actually really felt empathetic. I believed this was a real situation. Because who would be out here faking the death of a loved one on the internet? Well, it turned out to be Jay Station in all of his glory, because when I had contacted the police department then, there was no confirmation of any kill. There was no confirmation, no nothing, no kill had been confirmed. The dog tags never existed to begin with. Now, it was because of this degeneracy that everyone on the internet, including me, had called this person out, and it eventually became mainstream attention, to the point where three or four new sites had started picking it up, and YouTube was forced to demonetize his account. Now, this account demonetization had stood, and it was at this moment that Jay had went pretty dormant. We haven't heard from Jay in a long time. Jay Station has actually been pretty alive on YouTube. For those of you who don't know, for the entire year, Jay has been creating a new channel called 666. Now, I don't have to be Nostradamus to tell you that this shit was absolutely a fucking 180 in the grand scheme of things. Because, quite honestly, he was just looking at things like Sonic.exe, Sonic.exe Pinball, or, or whatever other scary TikTok video number 57. And that's pretty much what the content was. He sat in his room recording, you know, commentary footage, and that's pretty much what it came down to. Now, it was about a year later, like literally a week ago, that YouTube has removed both channels. There still exists the J Station channel. In fact, if you go on to YouTube, right, you can see that his 666 doesn't exist. But if you type in J Station and query the search results, you'll find out that his original channel exists. I don't really know the actual, like, context behind this original channel, because quite honestly with you, I think that it got removed, or there was one moment where Jay was doing 24-hour challenges, so maybe there was, like, trespassing and YouTube wasn't okay with it. Now, it's safe to say that when your account gets terminated and you create a new one, that's against YouTube terms of service. We call that shit ban evasion, you know? When you're ban evading, YouTube is going to lay the smack down on you like no tomorrow. The only way that f I've seen people get away with this kind of stuff is if they claim that their channel is owned by a third party and they simply act as a host. And even then, that's sketchy to begin with, okay? That's, that's clearly finding like the fucking loophole of all loopholes. Now, Jay was terminated and of course on Twitter he was like, hey YouTube, my account's terminated, please help! And YouTube's like, listen, we sent you the details, read it! And then, all the way down here, he then throws YouTube completely down under the bus. YouTube's full of really terrible people. He was... They banned a kid's reaction channel. Can't believe it. Anyways, guys, I'll let you know what happens when I sue them. But I'm not coming back. I've had nice ideas for money for a while. Thanks for everything. Now, when I hear the word sue in YouTube, and I think to myself, Wow! It's a fucking multi-billion dollar company. I mean, good luck, Jay. That's... That's a hell of a legal team to go against. They're going to give you a Hawaiian dicking when you're when, when you're taking them to court. But you know what? Maybe Jay has a case. I don't know. He's probably got some lawyers as well. Now, when, you, when you're telling me that you're a kid's reaction channel and all that stuff, I almost feel like there's a bit of obfuscation of the truth. I mean, clearly you're covering, uh, what, horror content? Uh, by definition, that really wouldn't fall for it. It was later at 3 a.m. that Jay posted his last words. I mean, I'm not kidding with you. 3.29 a.m. is what it's listed as. So, I'm not going to play this necessarily I'll, I'll just i'll just pretty much tell you that he got banned doesn't agree with it pretty much tldw nan <laughs> jay posted a video that i definitely can't fucking show you because uh many youtubers i think showed this entire clip and some of them got fucking taken down for medical misinformation uh jay had a couple jay had a couple brain dead things to say about the whole pandemic 
and, and vaccinations. And I'm not going to relay any of that information because it's fucking stupid is what it is. All right. Uh, Jay is not a qualified doctor. Okay. Jay is a qualified fucking, um, uh, Jay's qualified, uh, what are they, necromancer, okay, he can bring shit back to life, but he sure as hell can't teach y'all about fucking vaccines, that's for goddamn sure. Now, he explained further, I didn't even do anything wrong. <laughs> I made videos all year getting no controversy, that was true, changed my content to reaction videos I make in my room. They said I am circumventing demonetization, and yeah, that's actually fucking true, as true as uh, Vladimir Putin being fucking XKGB, let me tell you, boys. Now, to explain what circumventing monetization means, basically, like, you get removed from YouTube, they fuck your AdSense account over. When your AdSense account gets fucked over, I don't think you can make another one, okay? Like, your AdSense account is directly tied to, like, actual identification you give them, your address and things like that. When you're fucked and your AdSense account is fucked, creating a new one under fraudulent guidelines, under fraudulent intent, is enough to get that shit banned. YouTube will not fuck with you. Google will not fuck with you. Google's ad system will not fuck with you anymore. That's pretty much how it works. Now, I've talked about bannings and, and, and account takedowns and deplatformations on this entire channel, okay? I've talked about it overall. Now here, all you can really do is speculate as to why an account like this does get a ban or what circumventing demonetization really means. And basically at the end of the day, all I can really assume is it comes down to ban evasion. Uh, if you don't know, if you make a YouTube account and you get taken down for community guideline strikes, and I think even copyright strikes, YouTube does not allow you to make another YouTube account in at, at all. Like you can't do that. It would be ban evasion if one person gets banned and then they create another account to get into it. There exists that one loophole where you can get somebody else to entirely own the account and you be the host of it, but I don't even know if that loophole's active anymore, if it works. YouTube is very stringent on it. And a whole other thing is, I believe the AdSense account that you use that gets tied to YouTube as well, where you have all your pri personal information stored on and verified and like things like addresses and your name and all of it, for obvious reasons, right? Tax and, you know, they're paying you at the end of the day. When your YouTube account gets like flagged out and taken down, I believe it also does impact and harm your AdSense account. Like they are directly tied. So I believe one false issue. And again, this isn't totally confirmed. One false issue will also affect the AdSense account. So again, I, I, if you had to speculate, if you made another AdSense account, I'd almost believe it's ban evasion on there and tying it and things like that. And in all fairness, it probably has nothing to do with AdSense. It's probably just YouTube realizes it would be a really dumb loophole to actually demonetize one person's channel for really, you know, terrible behavior. And then they would just create a new account and, you know, continue on as if nothing happened. So it's just YouTube probably enforcing, you know, the rules like they should. I'm not a huge fan when an account gets completely deplatformed. It's not something that I enjoy watching uh, because I like to see the good in people. I like to see if people can flip around. But in this case, in certain cases, there are people that very vehemently break the guidelines and there are people that do not learn from their mistakes. And J Station is unfortunately one of them. Now, I don't know why it necessarily took YouTube an entire fucking year to remove this channel. Uh, YouTube works in really mysterious ways like God himself. So it's going to be one of those situations where we'll never really get the answer but if Jay was really circumventing demonetization and all of it most of it comes down to a YouTube being a massive company Google as well so there was probably a lot of investigations that had to happen behind the scenes a lot of understanding and eventually when they had enough you know proper evidence to deal with they were able to get rid of the account under their terms of services and that was pretty much it and there's also another reason to really get behind this do you honestly believe someone like this is really going to learn from their mistakes I mean, quite literally, even after this whole debacle happened, it was really unclear whether him and his girlfriend were together or whether they were not or whether there was some fucking abuse behind the scenes because there was always frequently weird collaborations happening on this channel and her channel. So it was just a weird situation. Um, honestly, I don't understand the full story of it. Nobody ever fucking will. There's too much to really understand over here. There's too much that goes out. But this is one of those situations where when a deplatforming happens, at the end of the day, I'm one of those people where it's like, did they actually violate the terms of services? And honestly, when you look at things like scams, deceptive practices on this site, you know, people actually lying and people actually, you know, running these weird campaigns, especially in a kids oriented channel at the end of the day, where they are faking human being debts, where they are running these 3 a.m. channels. I mean, when you got a video where you're buying slaves off of the dark web, then <laughs> there, there's a, there's a good case to be made that your channel isn't exactly TOS fucking friendly. So when you get taken down all of a sudden like this, 
and you've made not just one video, not just two, not just three, but a fucking barrage of video, like you're a Tommy gun full of these dumb video ideas, don't fucking weird out when YouTube takes your video down. It's just, it's just one of those things that needs to be understood. I, I don't get it. I don't understand why this... Nobody should feel sorry for this situation. So really, that's all I have to say on Jay Station. Again, I do like to see the good in people. If Jay is trying to make an actual honest change in his life, then I am 1,000% in support of it. But as far as his YouTube career goes, this is one of those things where, like, you know when you make your bed, your shitty bed, and you've done it with these ideas, you have to fucking lie in it at the end of the day. That's pretty much what it comes down to. So yeah, J Station has been removed from YouTube. And this might spark an entire understanding amongst the 3AM community, whatever exists out there, that this kind of weird shit really isn't okay. Like, you know, at the end of the day, it's all just morally bankrupt content on the internet. And at the end, and again, I'm not trying to be Mr. Moral Man too. This 3AM shit was just the, 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 the surface of the, of, the, of the pool of crap that exists on this website website you know but ladies and gentlemen if you like what you saw please like comment and subscribe dislike it if you dislike it i am out